I swear, the first motorcycle company that figures out how to make an air-conditioned seat is gonna be so fucking rich. Ooh. But, I mean, this is what we kind of have to put up with here in Texas. Just insanely hot summers. Because now it's only, what, 90 degrees. It's gonna get a lot hotter. It's only May, like the beginning of May. And it's just gonna get a whole lot hotter as you get into June, July, August. But the good part, after we suffer all through this heat, we get to ride all winter. <laughs> it's so awesome. I mean, there are people here who only ride summers, but I mean, I got my bike in September, so I'm not, ooh, somebody got pulled over. They're in trouble. What's up, dude? Anyway, yeah, so many people here actually decide to stop riding during the winter, which I don't know why, because our winters here are pretty dry, and they generally don't get too cold. I mean, you do have a couple days out of the year where it gets to about 28 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> which I still rode through those. I mean, I, I, uh, I said I got my bike in September, so there was no way I'm just gonna keep it in the garage for the entire winter. And all throughout winter, I got almost 10,000 miles on this bike. And I rode, I really did ride when like 20 degree weather. Ski pants are a lifesaver. I got this uh, $300 jacket, just completely insulated, armored, that had me sweating in that kind of weather. And then I had the ski pants on, you know, my riding boots, they managed to keep me pretty warm too, which now I'm kind of regretting because it's summer and my feet are freaking baking. But yeah, no, the first 20 degree day of our winter, I was, all my friends that rode their bikes decided to not show up at school. They all decided it would be a lot easier if they just, uh... They all decided it would be just a lot easier and a lot more comfortable if they just drove to school. And when I got to the school, the only, the only, um... Oh shit, man, these guys are freaking everywhere. The only, uh, vehicle that was in the motorcycle parking was some guy on a moped. I mean, just think about this. In Texas, we have speed limits on the street of 60 miles an hour, 120 kilometers an hour. So we have uh, speeds, uh, uh, speed limits of 120 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour. And this guy came to school on a freaking moped with top speed of maybe 30 miles an hour in 20 degree weather. Only person to ride besides me. I mean, that's just badass. I have no idea who that guy is. But it was, it was hilarious. Oh. No, I was just tapping my helmet back there to let them know that there was a cop waiting for him in an unmarked cruiser. Which, I mean, would ruin anybody's day. Oh my god, more cops! Come on, it's like the third, fourth cruiser that I've seen in the past, I don't know, not even one mile. It's a nice day, so you just know they have to be out ruining it for some people. But to be fair, if you do ride and drive like a jackass, you deserve it. This guy is. There's so many biker gangs around here. Well, I mean, they don't really, I haven't really heard too much shit about them. They don't really give anybody problems. 
I've run behind a couple of them a couple times and I don't really give a shit. Oh my god, this guy right here. So, this is a police station right here. And right next to it, you have this guy. Who has an outdoor grill, a uh, Corvette parked out front. And he pretty much will cook up for, like a rack of ribs or barbecue for anybody that comes up. And I gotta tell you, those are some of the best ribs I have ever eaten.